Hi, I'm Rosie and welcome to YSTV. Now, do you like darts? Do you like paint? Well, you're in for a treat. Give us a dark hell. So I'm here with Kelly, and Kelly, now you work for USU. Can you tell us more about your role? That's a good question. So I am the Community and Wellbeing Officer. I was elected by students last year to represent you in all things community and wellbeing. Today is a very exciting part of my role, where I've got to engage with students with the health and welfare, which is going on behind the camera, while over this side, we're doing a fundraiser for Copperfield, all to raise money and raise awareness of health. Now, can you tell us what's the aim of the game? What is the aim of the game? Hit a balloon. If you don't hit a balloon, don't worry, you'll still win a prize. And it's the colour of the paint that comes out of the balloon. And that correlates with the prize. The prize. If you hit a red one, you're in for a jackpot. We, we need a red one, right? Fingers crossed, guys. We get a red one, so we get a jumper for Banana Boy. Have yeah. you got your fingers Or even crossed? a voucher. It's up to you. A voucher? Yeah. Crazy times today, guys. Crazy times. Stick around. Everyone, clap. This is rigged! Oh, Kelly! Oh, Kelly, that that's one! In, that's that in. one's in! It's not a jumper though. You can just get a standard tote bag. Oh, shut the front door. So these canvas boards are going to follow us throughout time over the next three weeks for Advocate for Health. So you're making them now, making them look cool with splashes in the background. Then they're going to go on to the Mental Health Awareness Week where we're going to use them to get students to write things about mental health on them. And we have a series of questions for students to write an answer with. And then they're going to be displayed somewhere across campus that is yet to be confirmed because it's yet to be announced this location. Ooh. And can you tell us more about Copperfield? So Copperfield is a UK-wide charity all about boobs, making sure that you check for the signs of breast cancer oh, and okay. you're kind of keeping an eye on your boob health and looking after yourself. It raises awareness of breast cancer solely um, and it just works with a lot of students across the UK. So at York, we have the Uni of York boob team, which is like a Copperfield group here, and they work with York students to raise awareness of breast cancer, which is why UC today is doing a fundraiser for Copperfield. So close, and that's red, 100% that's red. The US is shocked. Can I just get a confirmation somewhere that I have won a jumper? That that is a jumper. I feel like there was a lot of blabble there. You, you've won a jumper. Oh, guys, I've won a jumper! Well, grey's really my colour, Kelly. So in an interesting turn of events, YSTV has come inside. We're now inside the Wellbeing Fair. I think that's the name of it, isn't it, isn't it the name of it? Yeah? Nice. And we're gonna go and have a look at what's about, you know? Maybe get some merch. Follow us. Yeah, so we're here from USU, from the Advice and Support Centre at USU to provide independent and confidential advice and support to students if they're experiencing anything that's affecting their uh, academic studies or their day-to-day -day life at university. We've also got a range of materials, particularly from MIND, the National Mental Health Organisation, uh, who couldn't be here today, but we've got loads of their information and resources, particularly about um, managing mental health and coping with um, student life as well. We came today to try and encourage students to advocate for their own health, so directing them to the pharmacy in the first instance, using the NHS app, your sexual health self-referral to IAPT and physiotherapy, um, so just making our presence known. York Marrow is um, the sort of student branch of the Anti of Antinone, which is the stem cell um, donation charity. And our goal is to like get students basically sign up to the stem cell register. You might get matched with somebody who has like blood cancer or um, sort of serious anemia or another condition like that, and they need a stem cell transplant. And you can potentially save somebody's life. So we're now at the end of May, literally the last day of May, which is a little bit long ago compared to when we started this video, I think it's safe to say. Um, but we're here because we're outside the kitchen 
at Alquin. Why? Well, because the canvas boards have been completed and they're now hung up on the wall. But you just saw us painting the canvas boards, right? Um, what actually happened with them? After raising money for Copperfield, we sent them to a range of events for the Advocate for Mental Health campaign, which was as part of the whole big Advocate for Health thing that we did. Um, and they got written on by loads of students in talking about their mental health and how they look after each other and how they look after themselves in self-care and also what they would say to someone struggling with their mental health. Um, and the kitchen at Alcorn have kindly accepted them to go up on their walls because I complained and said they looked a little bit boring. Um, <laughs> it shouldn't go down with CS, but at least they're a bit prettier now. Um, so let's head on in and have a look. for watching i hope you enjoyed watching us go through uc's welfare fair um yeah we had a lot of fun throwing darts i hope you had fun watching us throw the darts and yeah i hope you learned something as well because you know this is factual um there's more stuff coming up in the next few weeks so be sure to check out uc's website and yeah see you next time guys